Ross Hardy with Inkjet Cards Technical Support. And what we hope to show you today is the Secure Color, Sure Color P600 firmware modification. There are a few basics that need to happen, and any firmware mo modification can go wrong. So, we want to highlight the best practices. First of all, your printer should be ready to print and ink levels should be high. It, regardless of what exactly is in the printer, Epson carts or refillable carts, we want those ink levels sufficient. You should be able to print to the printer And you should be able to do basic functions like a nozzle check. Set up maintenance, print head, nozzle check, print. If your printer will not print, do not try this modification. Next thing, irregardless of network or wireless or any other functions, turn them off. You want a USB connection directly to the computer that you're going to run the software from and you should be able to print from that computer which means you're going to need the drivers you have to have the drivers on the computer that you're going to do this firmware modification from wherever you move it in your network afterwards that's fine however you connect it wirelessly or LAN or whatever that's fine but you need a computer with a USB cord connected to this the printer should be able to print you should be able to do a nozzle check and you should be able to send a document from the computer to this before you start the reset utility and the firmware modification firmware versions with disabled ink cartridges Make a selection default with disabled ink cartridge. I recommend going back to the earliest one. Click update. And now it wants your validation code. We're going to type that in off screen. I don't want anybody to try to use it. They're good for one use only. Okay, so we're going to complete the nozzle check. And make sure that it's in a ready status afterwards by checking the ink levels. Nozzle check is perfect. I'm gonna hit done. Back, back, back to the main menu and check our ink levels. All ink levels are full. Back. So now let's try it again. The key must be 15 or 16 characters. Count them and then verify one by one that you're entering the right number and then hit OK. Now that I hit OK, you can see the bar working. Updating printer firmware. The screen.
screen on the printer says updating the firmware. Do not turn the power off. When the update is complete, the power will turn off and automatically. Says it's transferred to the printer. Now the printer will begin its own update process. Wait until the update is completed and restart the printer. So now I'm going to put you back over here. And now we're waiting on this. You'll also see the power light flashing. And I don't suggest you do a thing. I don't even want you to close the reset utility or hit OK. The blue screen on the bottom says firmware update is started. It, so many bytes were written to the printer and the firmware update is finished. Now it looks like the printer is rebooting. And it looks like we have control and if you notice all ink levels are full they were not full previously so that's an important thing to make a note of you can scroll back in the video and you can see that uh, the ink levels were at staggered rates prior to this firmware upgrade so now as you print and you will you will see the ink levels will never go down so now you're in charge of inks. Pretty simple to get to. You open the cover. You pull a plug and you make them full. They hold 30 milliliters, one full fluid ounce of ink. And you just make them full from time to time. But as far as your ink levels, they will never go down. You'll never have to worry about resetting them again. And They'll just always read full. Now, if you run a cartridge dry on this printer, it's got a long pipeline all the way to the print head, and you will get a lot of error in there. We don't suggest you do that. This is a one-time firmware update, and it's never needed again. Uh, the carts can even be installed with broken chips on them after this is completed. But please, please pay attention to our notes and our cautions. The printer needs to be capable of printing right now before you run this program. Ross Hardy, Inkjet Carts Technical Support, and I thank you for watching.